You mentioned at the beginning that you do work an odd job again now. So what's yeah. I want to talk about that because yeah. I nobody ever talks about that. I know, and nobody I ever, wish that the stigma was lifted from that because I think it, it's made me so sad and depressed that this is something that I have to do. Like I always say, what stigma? Sorry, what stigma? Like oh, if you have to have other, if you have to have um, supplemental income. That you're a failure. Oh, that's not that's not true. Maybe that's just me. That's, that's just my <laughs> voice inside of me talking. <laughs> I think you're smart. <laughs> Thank you. And not stubborn. And then you're also learning about the human condition from wherever you're working. I think that there's well, number one, nobody tells you anything, right? You're, it's not like you move here and you get a big brother or something. Right. <laughs> like do, you have to figure out everything on your own. That's why I started and, this podcast. <laughs> Oh, oh, right. To, to kind of learn, learn how and people figure do things out. Yeah. 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 That's smart because you just don't know anything and right. you have to figure out a lot on your own. And I think there's, you get, you get, you get wrong ideas in your head yeah. based on things you think about people because a lot of people portray how the, themselves, how they would like to portray themselves. Yeah, it's curated. Not with necessarily how they are. And so, and, and, and I'm even talking like before social media really existed that much, you know, like, I just had ideas in my head of what the steps were or like, I always say I'm always waiting for when it gets easier and I'm starting to realize that that doesn't ever happen. Right. <laughs> like, Oh, once I get this thing, then it's like to the moon, like, here I go. Bye. Like upwards and onwards. <laughs> like, and that just has, it's not really true. It's right. just sort of just another job in a matter of just when yep, <laughs> and maybe it's a great job and maybe it's an okay job, <laughs> but you hope it's a great job. So my question though is <laughs> like, when, when did, when do you have this decision to go back to working a day job oh, um, or like why, I don't know, like how long of a time was I, your dry spell or I, what was the reasoning? I got powerless the show and, um, I had worked at this this one at this day job for like almost ten years, like for a really long time. Oh wow! Yeah, it was great, and I and I appreciate them and the job so much because it really aided in me being able to do what I wanted to do. Yeah, and th and that's huge. And it I'm allowed thankful. you audition yeah. and stuff. Yeah, it just what allowed me some flexibility. Um, front desk at an advertising and oh, design perfect. firm. Okay, yeah, and it was sort of like it ended up becoming like more evening, like late oh, afternoon perfect. evening. So it just was like really flexible and good. And it allowed me supplemental income, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. Um, and then I got powerless and was basically like powerless was only supposed to be four episodes. Like I was, was just a mid -season like a recurring up, right? uh, for me. Sorry. Sorry. I should oh, clarify. But it was a mid season pickup, wasn't it? Um, maybe not. I can't remember. I just had Patrick Schumacher on. I should know this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I love Patrick. <laughs> um, I, I I was supposed to. My character was just a recurring character that was only episodes. supposed to be on for yeah. four episodes. So I was basically like, "Hey, I'm going to shoot for four weeks. Like, I'll be out for four weeks or something." And then I just kept getting we. I kept getting written into episodes, like, okay. and so I basically I ended up being in every in all of the episodes. I was like, going to say, yeah, I felt like yeah. More than four. <laughs> <laughs> it ended up becoming like a. Like a recur, like a reg, uh, a, a series regular role without the title, yeah, <laughs> or the money, the money. <laughs> yeah. So I was basically out for like because it was also over holidays and stuff. So I was basically like not working at this job for four months, and I got to get some. I had had some luck with a with commercials that year too, and like I kind of had a savings going for the yeah. first time, right? And so I was like. I'm not coming back. This was, this was, I guess, last year. Yeah, I guess I, well, right. I was, it was almost two years I was gone, but it was like at the end of shooting, I told them like, I think I'm going to like not come back and try to be a working act, like really right, yeah. try to be a working actor. And I, I had a really good year last year and I, bu I booked some things and worked and this year I haven't booked anything. Oh, wow. Not one thing. I guess I did drunk history that counts. So it was like it a good day, right? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I did. So I did, I booked one thing so far this year and, and that I just shot like a couple of weeks ago. So really I was like going for months without, I didn't book anything. Yeah. And I again, mistakenly was like, 
having coming off such a good year last year, I was like, great, what's going to come this year? Like I'll, I get, I'm, I got a theatrical agent because of, um, powerless. I've been getting really good auditions, like interesting stuff, doing well, getting callbacks, just not booking anything. Right. Um, and then, so your savings starts to, you know, you're just living off of your savings. <laughs> then, and I started getting scared and before it got dire, I thought I better, I, I started thinking maybe I should get a job and then sort of magically my old boss at my job texted me and was like, um, the front desk person is quitting. Would you want to come in and get hours? What? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> so you went back to the same place. Yeah, I just went back that to is amazing. Place. That is so cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's sort of like, I don't, I don't love it. it. It's not ideal. Too. It's very comfortable. It feels like just stepping right back into where I left off. Right. Like, and I know everybody and I know the job and everybody's so wonderful. And it probably feels I slightly. I appreciate it so much because it's really like, here's some help. Do you want help here? We'll give it to you. And I appreciate that so much. But I also like, I really enjoyed my life as like a quote unquote working actor. Yeah. And I, was doing you know getting into yoga getting into pilates making sourdough bread like you know going to happy hours like it was all very exciting and and now i kind of have i'm back working again and it if it, it's it's a little bit depressing i'm a little bit depressed about it and it, it you shouldn't obviously thank you you have a job and and i feel badly saying that because i know many lots of people work and we all pretty much everybody has to work it's very rare that you can't that you get to get by on not working. Yeah. And and so I feel a little bit bad saying it, but it was like having like just a taste. I had a taste yeah. of it. But at least you had a taste and you will have more of a taste later. And I, I understand what you're saying, though. It probably felt like a step back, especially going to the place you came from. It probably felt like a step backwards. But I, yeah. I, I, I think this is a common thing for actors. It has to be. I think so, but and again, like it's hard. To, it's people don't talk about it. That I mean, well, I, that's I, almost, I feel sort of embarrassed, like talking about all this stuff, like to the public or whoever is listening or whatever. You know, like I feel kind of like it's like uh, it sucks to to admit, like I I'm not booking guys. <laughs> like I don't know, <laughs> like I might suck now. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> but it goes back to what I said about the union. I think it's like under five percent is working actors. It's just it. it, it yeah, you just have to do. I work at a day job. That uh, another, it's like all improvisers and actors mm-hmm. that do my day job. And uh, one of them was like on the new season of Twin Peaks. He just booked a pilot. He works this every morning. And I don't know why, but he obviously does it because he still needs the income. It does, from the outside looking in, it doesn't look like he needs it, but it's just, you'd have to do it. It's yeah. part of the journey. It sucks, I, I wish but it that is. people didn't feel that stigma sort of oh like feel like they they had to hide you know what they how they make money because right. that is a mystery I remember I remember moving here and starting to meet people and you know in the first year I lived here going like what the fuck does anybody I agree. do how do you how are they paying rent like yeah. I I had no idea I could not tell it did not seem like anyone worked I still and, feel and that yet way. <laughs> they're still buying things so you must make money it's it, it was just so confusing to me. I still feel that way. I still feel that way too. But it's cool though yeah. when you can get something like you and I have that is flexible. It's like, yes. why would you even want to get rid of it? You, yeah. It, it, it is a get... nice security blanket. I almost didn't. I almost just went back to it because it is such a good security blanket. And I sort of um, got talked, not talked, I, I shouldn't say, I got some good advice that was like, give this a shot. Like, try this now. Yeah. And even though it's scary and everything. And it goes yeah. back to, not to glamorize day jobs, but it goes back to what we were talking about with the rituals and routines. Like it's nice to. Yeah. It is nice. Auditions to are have so come and go. Do. You know what yeah. I mean? Like at the start of the year, I was yeah. going out three yes. times a week, and the last yeah. month, I've only gone out a couple times. It's like yeah. it's nice to have something to do and something to. It took me a little while to figure out how to spend my day. Like yeah. if I didn't have an audition that day, you don't have anything to do. <laughs> yeah, and that can be depressing. <laughs> and I, I kind of stopped. I, I'm not. Perf- I didn't perform very much last year. I kind of stopped doing that. So it was literally like, how do I? What do I do now? Yeah. So and and but I ended up figuring that out, and then it was like right when I started really figuring that out and loving now my days and how I'm spending them, I have to now sort of spend part of my day doing something I don't really want to do. It's life. But that's life. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. 